Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here. In this video, we're going to be highlighting a website that I think is a great tool now that the world visit feature is open, the Mogboard. I'm going to read their exact description. Mogboard is a small one-page site that provides cached access to the Final Fantasy 14 market board for any server, anytime. Of course, if the server is congested, it can cause problems with obtaining that information as is listed with that double asterisk. Now, the website is not 100% accurate for a number of reasons. On top of the congestion, it is also only cached every 24 hours, and they are slowly looking at ways to maybe speed that up. He's trying to avoid overloading Square Enix's API because if he pings it a little too much, it might get read as a threat and thus actually permaban his account, and he really doesn't want that, and we, of course, don't want that to happen to him. But it's a tool that's awesome and can basically basically allow you to research markets on various servers as long as it's been cached and updated from the previous day. And with that, it's an awesome tool considering we can go between servers now. It has tons of ways to support it. It's got a Discord, it's got a Patreon, all of that is listed on the website. So if you appreciate this tool, and you want to provide some support to them, all the tools are there to do it. Now, I mean, if you look over here on the left, you can see the way that it's all broken up. All the different categories on the market board are all listed here, scrolling all the way down. You can even localize the website between English, uh, German, French, and Japanese. So if I click this, changes all of the market board searches specifically to Japanese. Since it's all pulled from the API, it's basically just pulling the language from in-game, making it a lot easier to interact with. And then, of course, you can see it in all the other languages as well. Now, you can also pick a server. You know, I'm on Ether, so obviously I'm set to Gilgamesh for the sake. And you can even set a wish list of items that you want to keep tracking. So let's say on Gilgamesh, I want to grab a monk weapon. I want to grab an item level 380 monk weapon. It'll show you the little icon, it'll show you the item level right here, and then it'll show you the name of the item. And again, of course, you can always localize them, although I guess it resets you back to the beginning, so please keep that in mind. So going over here, I didn't, no, that didn't happen earlier. I remember doing that earlier. It's, I don't know why it's doing that. They're working out the kinks, who cares? Anyway, so when you click the item on the right-hand side, and now we are going to go over here so you can blow up the information a little bit more, you can see it has what is currently listed on the market board. And the prices were last updated two hours ago. It uh, prices and history update based on sale frequency. So if you are wondering when this is last tracking from, it does give you a read on that right here. You can even click to refresh it, but if the price hasn't been updated, that's not gonna do you much good. It doesn't tell you who the crafter is currently. It's currently listed as undefined. It does label whether or not it's high quality and what the actual price is, the total price plus the price per unit. It also lets you know whose retainer it is. So there's, that's really the more imp important information, I suppose, not really who actually crafted it. Now, with the world visit feature, you can even show cross world prices right here. It shows you the average price, the max unit, max total, the minimum unit, and the minimum total, how many are actually available on that server. So if you're trying to get an idea of how busy each individual market is and what the average price is to do some smarter shopping, you can use this website to get an idea of what you can do before you log into the game or so you don't have to hop between all the worlds visiting. So you can even see what the absolute lowest price is, is, you know, you can see this exact item is currently the cheapest on ferry, at least as, well, as long as the last time this was updated. Whereas the most expensive one available is on Gilgamesh. Now that's not the average price. That's just the most expensive one that is listed currently. Probably just somebody who's had it on their retainer for God knows how long. And is just up there hoping someone will be desperate. If you scroll down, it'll even give you a history of the item. I believe this is locked to the server that you're actually searching for it on, but you can see selling trends. And this could be useful information for determining if a market is hot or if somebody's just inflated a price here and there. As long as you know how to use the information, it can be awesome for you. And also, of course, we actually have the sale history that it's tracking right here. All the previous sales, you can see when it was, what day, what time, what month basically all the information you could possibly need. And you can do that for almost any item here. Now, while it may not be accurate, I think this is an incredible tool that I really wanted to share with you guys. Again, this is mogboard.com. And again, I would highly recommend it for anyone who's planning on searching through the markets to get just the right price on that item. But anyway, be sure to go there, try out their website, uh, You know, get involved with them if you think this is really interesting, use the Discord, support the Patreon, I think it's cool, so I'm encouraging you to do the same. Anyway, just wanted to make this quick little video letting you know about this tool. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be around for quite some time, and hopefully it only continues to improve. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and go try out Mogboard. I will see you all in the next one, and until then, take care.